Hi there, my name's Shannon. This is my first YouTube video. Um, I watch a lot of stay-at-home moms and a lot of lifestyle videos on here and I was thinking, you know, I do all of that stuff. Maybe I could do a video and see how it goes and just start posting things as I like bring them home or make them or buy them or create or clean or whatever. So I plan on doing like all sorts of things on here. So if you're interested in that, please like this video. I don't expect anyone to really follow me yet considering this is my first video, but the first video I decided to do was a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I've been watching a lot of Dollar Tree hauls lately and all the fall stuff that's come out and I think that stuff is all so cute and I was, I go to Dollar Tree but a lot of times I get overwhelmed and I just kind of leave with like two things and then I'm thinking, oh but I saw this and this and this and this and this and I forgot to get it and I forgot to look for it. So this time I took my time, I walked around, I didn't have the baby with me. Oh, I have a two year old daughter by the way, just turned two on the 11th of August. Um, her name's Charlie, she's literally everything. and. I didn't have her with me, she was with her Mimi and Papa, so I got to walk around and kind of take my time and really like dig through some stuff and I actually did dig for once and I found things that I saw in other people's haul videos that I was like, oh I'm glad I did that because I found it. So I got a bunch of random, kind of random stuff, I got some fall stuff but I also got some other random stuff I've never seen before or realized was kind of new. So I grabbed that too, not necessarily need it right now but things I was like oh I bet I will need this in the future and they probably won't have it so I better better get it so I'll just jump right in and show you what I got and like I said before if you like it the video like the video for me you don't have to follow me right away but keep me in the back of your mind maybe um so let's get started so first up I buy this all the time there actually and I always like try to smell their scent and think oh I'll get this this and this but I never do and I always get the same stuff it's the pure silk coconut body wash um, I love it it's a dollar it's a huge bottle it lasts me a pretty long time and it smells really good but not too overpowering and I love coconut so there's that what's next oh I've been down the aisle with like all the labels and stuff before and because when I was storing stuff in jars and putting stuff in bins because I did an organizational thing before. I obviously don't have a video for that, but in the future maybe. Um, and they had the same ones over and over and over again and not really my style, not really like big enough to write on. So I found these today. There's 60 in each pack and this is my color. I don't know if you could tell, but the wall in my kitchen is close to that color. It's like a muted version. It's a lot brighter in real life. Um, you can't tell and I'm right by a window and then I got these ones the rainbow ones they're super cute so 60 I mean I'll never run out of these probably which is awesome okay I saw someone did these in a haul earlier today before I went to work for four hours and I went right to Dollar Tree um, on a Sunday before back to school on Memorial Day I know or Labor Day sorry um, but they're super cute and my daughter's only two so she's kind of learning her colors and how to color with crayons and her someone bought her markers for her birthday and when I'm not home and I come home and she has literally marker stains all over her face and all over her hands I thought these would be easy and fun for her to use so I figured you know I could surprise her with them every now and then when she's being really good or when we need something to do an activity something to kill the time or I need her to sit still for a period of time so these are the magic paint posters there's 12 sheets in each and they're super cute you just add like water you can see up there you add water to the paintbrush that it comes with and they can just paint each page these 12 sheets you should do one sheet a day and there was my little pony paw patrol one of her favorites right now disney princesses and then Shimmer and Shine, which I showed you. Okay, um, I guess I'm some fall stuff because that's where I am right now. So, window clings. I saw one that I did not see on somebody's haul, so I thought it was really cute, but I had to like dig through the, like the stack of them just to see that I wasn't missing anything. It's this cute turkey one. Isn't that cute? Give thanks. And then everything's like really glittery and sparkly. It's so cute. These pumpkins, glittery pumpkins. And leaves and vines and then this one's just maple leaves fall leaves foliage those would be really cute 
And then I also got the magnets. There's a couple other, there's a couple other versions, but like one where you could like build a scarecrow or something. But every time I buy those, I put them in a plastic baggie at the end of the season and then I take them out the next season and I can't figure out how to put them together. There's a particular polar bear that sits on my mom's fridge every Christmas and every year I come over she goes, can you please fix the polar bear? And I stand there for 20 minutes and I can't do it. There's like a piece that's either a leg, a tail, an arm, or a nose. I don't really know, but it ends up in all sorts of different places, so whatever. I don't know. It's funny. But this is the other one. Your little scarecrows. And I have a new dishwasher too, so I can put these on the dishwasher and Charlie can play with them, which is kind of cute. Um, a couple of things I saw in other people's hauls that I was like, those are really cute. I would like to put that in my house is the Hello Fall, the little light like, stand. The little white pumpkin super cute and the little sign that you can hang I have a wreath that goes on my front door that my mom made actually it's like beautiful and I have to pull it out because I think I should go get some stuff to like add into it because it's definitely really fall um but some pieces have like fallen off over the years and they sell those little clips like those pumpkins on clips like in all different colors and then the leaves and I thought you know maybe I should get them and like add into them add into the wreath and be cute Okay, now my pumpkins. Everybody's been like posting and showing these in the videos and like I walked right into my Dollar Tree and they were right there. I was a little sad because they didn't have any of like the Halloween ones that said spooky or eek or any of those and they didn't have the black and white ones. I saw a couple videos with the black and white pumpkins and I was like, I didn't want the green one that everyone's been like raving about because it doesn't really go with the aesthetic of my house and if I put it in my kitchen, it would kind of it wouldn't like blend it would look weird with the minty blue like Tiffany blue color of my kitchen so I don't know so I didn't get that one but I didn't I was really sad they didn't have any of the black ones so but I got these for now and I have other decorations from years before that maybe I can mix them in with but the gold one so pretty then I got sorry my face gets really close to the camera I have the phone literally propped up on my cupboard handles at the moment the orange one because it's classic and you'd stay out through Halloween that would go with like anything and then I'm gonna show that one and do this one first yeah. Yeah. copper one so pretty and the white one I liked this one and I know I saw a couple other ones that people had that they got the white one but in other shapes I think or maybe like other couple other this is literally the last one that they had on the shelf and I was pretty lucky because there's nothing like wrong with it whatsoever so that's all that that's not all the pumpkins I got I also fell into the trap of the trend and I got the burlap pumpkins so cute I hate that so cute so cute but it's like really hard not to say because it all is really so cute and then the glittery one with all the beads just one of these there was another one in a really almost like a mustard color it was pretty but I mean I literally have one two three four five six hold on a second I'll be right there seven pumpkins I don't know if I need more than that I don't really have a big house so I can only decorate so much without it being overkill that's a lie I could totally overkill then I also got I was sad because this next thing I really was looking forward to finding and it's going to be really strange that I was looking forward to finding my fiance makes fun of me for like wanting stuff like this. But it is sad because I really wanted it. But maybe I can like DIY it myself. So the little flower sprigs with like the cotton. I don't know why I said flower. It's like a plant. It's like the pussy willows and the pine cones. And the cotton I think this is so stinking cute like this is not something you could like normally see unless I just don't go to craft stores enough which I mean I do I go to Dollar Tree I go to Joanne I go to Hobby Lobby because I also bake cakes so I'm there all the time but I bake cakes so I'm not usually in the flower aisle but these are adorable like the little cotton and I saw in somebody's haul I don't know who it was but they were she had ones that were gold and I was like I really little like that little touch of like glamour mixed in with your classic fall decorations and I was sad that I didn't have it but maybe I'll paint them so I got that one and this one has the red so to put these in a vase I thought would be like super 
so cute. And to add like more of a fall pop, some of the orange mums, and then the red to pull from the, where the plus eight balls is. See, so cute, so cute. I hate myself right now. Okay, so moving on. What else did I get? Okay, so this bag is a little bit random, but I saw someone haul the Yes To brand and I was actually pretty shocked because I'm a member of Grove Collaborative and they sell a lot of the Yes To brand on their site and it's pretty expensive and I mean I can't buy $50 worth of face products or skin products every time I order but they had some stuff so I can try it so I can see if I like it and then if I do and they don't have it anymore after this one time then I know where to get it. So I saw a few people with these Yes to Blueberries Cleansing Face Facial Wipes Age Refresh. I'm 34 almost 35 so I guess I have to use things like this, age refresh, whatever. But if they smell like blueberries, that could be kind of cool. And it's pretty packaging. And it's a dollar for 10. If you buy 10 wipes at Walmart, it's like three bucks. Or the wet ones at like the, um, on your way out, checking out. It's always like more than a dollar anywhere else. So I got one of those. I was gonna get two, but I got two of a lot of things because I have a hard time with odd numbers. Mine is the pumpkins because I have specific plans for those. So I can buy one, but a lot of times I have a really hard time not buying two of things, especially if they're only a dollar. So I don't know, it's a little bit of OCD, which I'm sure we all have. So um, next is the Comforting Mud Mask. Protects and minimizes irritation. Yes, to cotton. I got two of those. These were hidden. I looked, I stood in the beauty aisle for like 10 minutes scouring like every thing because I saw these and like four different people hauled these and posted about these in the last like few days that I watched these videos and I'm like they have to be here they have to be here somewhere I have to find them they were literally a rack of like not a rack a little like column of things hanging and I moved it and these were back there and these were back there along with two other ones I'm going to show you because I didn't see anyone haul these ones someone talked about well I'll show you the, the ones last this one's the Yes to Coconut. It's a paper mask. I got two of those. Thinking these were like probably originally sold at like Walmart or something on an end cap around Christmas time, given the little like bow. But I don't care. Like, what does that mean? Who cares? They were three dollars before, now they're a dollar. Okay. Okay, and this last one I was excited about because someone was like, I saw the Yes to Tomatoes, but I couldn't find it anymore and it's the detoxifying charcoal paper mask well I found them I found a bunch of them which was really hard not to buy like all 10 that were hidden behind the thing I was talking about but I bought two so yes two tomatoes and like I said I'm 34 so I guess I have to start really concentrating on my skin and not looking my age because a lot of people tell me I don't so I'd like to continue not looking my age but whatever um so next, I don't know, this is just like three random throw-ins that I'll show you that I just got, like these little cups. If you buy these Dixie cups at like Tops, which is the grocery store near me, um, in all of Western New York pretty much, I don't know if we're further out than that, kind of like a Wegmans, um, a run-of-the-mill grocery store, I'm rambling, but if you buy these there, if you buy them anywhere else, they're usually like two to three dollars I feel like um for a box of them and what do you do you just set them in your bathroom for when you or your kids brush your teeth and you use it once and you throw it out so I thought it'd be cute because um like I said my daughter just turned two so we're we've always brushed her teeth but we're teaching her how to do things by herself so um this would be kind of fun to have next to the sink so when she brushes her teeth she can rinse her mouth and spit and whatever instead of like me holding her up hoping that she makes it into the sink she could even spit it in the cup so that it's making a really awful sound I'm sorry but so I got those and then I never buy really the name brand things in case they're like super super cheap like if Dollar Tree has name brand things but even in the grocery store I usually just buy the grocery brand because to me it's almost exactly the same once in a while there's specific things I like the name brand things of or they don't make it in the grocery store brand but irregardless or regardless or whatever word you use there um I always get that I always loved the Velveeta mac and cheese I get craving for that every once in a while um 
and my daughter likes macaroni and cheese because she's two so of course she does um i really try to like do healthy and organic and all that crap that like really what difference does it make in the long run i mean it does but you know what i mean um but my grocery store sells a grocery store brand of that Velveeta like mac and cheese it's so rich like you can only eat a little bit of it it's like good for a side really because I can't eat it with more than you know like I'll make broccoli and chicken or whatever and have it on the side so that's fine but they had a brand at Dollar Tree kitchen or classic kitchen I've never tried it before don't see how it could be much different from the brand I got at Aldi like that's also whatever I don't know I say whatever a lot I'm sorry so I don't know I'm gonna try it and see if I like it and if I do I'll probably go back and buy like 10 and pretend it's 10 for 10 at the grocery store I also saw someone haul these today I drink water not as much as I used to I'm actually pretty much living off of Red Bull right now um, when I found out I was pregnant that's actually a vlog. I'll do a vlog on that or a blog or whatever you call it on YouTube. I don't even know. Um, when I found out I was pregnant, I, I actually smoked before then for almost like 10 years, which is insane when I think about like how long I actually did that to my body because I came from a family of watching people suffer with things from smoking for so many years and I refused to ever pick up a cigarette and also I danced. Like I was literally in dance for from the time I was like five till I was like 23 or something crazy like that. And it was towards the end of uh, my co like my, my associate's degree, but it was towards the end of my college time, mid to end, I think. I was just hanging out with the wrong type of people that I thought were my people, but were not my people. And I started smoking because I, you know, everyone else did it and I totally fell for it. And I ended up doing it for a really long time. But beside the point, um, when I found out I was pregnant, the literally the day I found out I was pregnant, it was an emergency room situation, and like I said, I'll go into that another time, and I'll tell you the story about me, but I left the emergency room after I was there for like 12 hours, I don't even know how long I was there, and went in the car, and I had my energy drink I was drinking at the time, which I think was an amp, because I was obsessed with the cherry limeade amp, or the strawberry limeade amp for the longest time, and my cigarettes and I picked up my cigarettes and I wanted to smoke one so bad and I was like who's gonna know I can just have one last one it's not fair I didn't know I was pregnant like I can't even have a last cigarette I didn't know that cigarette I had on the way here was gonna be the last one I had and I, I said to myself I was like how dare you like you are not living for yourself anymore like you are now holding the most precious gift that anybody could ever give you in, inside of you when you're gonna do that and I put it down and I didn't do it and I have not picked one up since so on another note I drank water all day every day like it was my job and it was my job because I needed it to survive through pregnancy after I had her like for the longest time and I was so good about it taking my vitamins drinking the water eating all the healthy food like so good about it and it was like Six months after I had her, after I finally couldn't breastfeed anymore due to other complications, I tried so hard, but I couldn't. It was like the day I stopped breastfeeding, I looked at my fiance, I said, go to the gas station and get me a Red Bull, a big one, because I was so tired and exhausted, and I was like, I just want that feeling of energy, and coffee's not going to give it to me, but I need to start drinking water more is the point of that whole rant. And I saw someone haul these earlier and they said they're sugar free and I looked at them and they maybe not, they maybe don't have like the best other ingredients, but it's going to make me drink water more. Maybe I'll try it. And they're the crushed cherry limeades. There is six packets in here. So, you know, just like those regular little powder packets you pour into your water so you can make yourself feel better about being semi-healthy or unhealthy in general but I don't know I'll try. I'm so tired I've had the longest day already it's only five o'clock so it's not even over and last but not least talking about healthy they're not terrible but they're not healthy even though they try to gear towards more all right I've literally done so much research and I've gone through so many kicks on like 
how to like diet and how to exercise. So that's a whole nother thing I can talk about another time and everything I've tried and everything that worked for me or didn't work for me and everything I'm currently not doing that I should be doing. But all the documentaries I've watched about like how to eat healthy and, and what not to eat and the things that they tell you that are healthy, but really they're not when you like break it down. But anyway, I don't care. They were good. And someone was eating them on the haul, possibly the same haul that I watched with the cherry limey crush. And she said, I was eating them in the car and they're so good. And I was like, oh yeah, they do have those at Dollar Tree. So I was walking through the aisle, like the last aisle I went through and I'm like, I got to get out of here. I'm spending way too much money. Um, and I just got them and I ate them in the car and I'm not sorry about it right now maybe later but okay <laughs> oh I also got their little tote bags that they carry like your reusable bags that you take to the grocery store or, like use for like wet clothes or whatever I think are like is, like the best or birthday gifts like you buy them instead of birthday bags so you don't throw them away and people can reuse them which is awesome they had a bunch of troll ones which are so cute and I've only ever seen like non maybe I've seen like princess ones there before but um my child is currently obsessed with trolls and Peppa Pig and like Paw Patrol and like you know anything a two-year-old should be so there was a green bag I can't show you because she's playing with it and I don't want to take it away from her because she'll cry but it's a green bag with poppy and branch and it says hugs in the middle and it's super cute so cute <laughs> but anyway I think that's all I got so like I said my name is Shannon I'm 34 years old. I'm mostly a stay-at-home mom. I work part-time at Levi's, which is, oh, I went to work today, so I hope I don't get in trouble for that. Um, and I think I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start posting videos of possibly, like, okay, I'm coming. I'm going to post videos of cakes I make, maybe cleaning videos, hauls, <laughs> grocery hauls, uh, Walmart hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, um, See, she's fine. Like kids store hauls, like I'll do, I think I already said this, I'll do cleaning videos, I'll do my cakes, I'll do hauls, I'll do de decor, like probably not like as fancy as I would love. Like I watch some of these videos and these women like have the most beautiful homes and they could have been just like me where it didn't start out like that and you, you make do with what you get. I'm not wealthy by any means. We live with what we have and we make it work and we try to work towards something better and we do me and my fiance do everything for our, our child and our future children that we may have one day so anyway if that's your kind of thing if you like those kind of videos if you like those kind of people I'll be as honest as I possibly can um and genuine and tell you all that I love you all because I love watching all of your videos if you happen to be watching me and you have your own channel like I literally sit and watch them all the time when my child is taking a nap, I will sit and watch a cleaning video for an hour of her nap and then get up and clean something super fast so that I can feel like I had a success of something that day. And my fiance laughs at me and he makes fun of me for it all the time. However, he plays Fortnite all night long. So he can't really say anything because I couldn't do that. That would drive me nuts and I would be super annoyed. But his name, his handle on Fortnite or on Twitch is... I am Rufus River, so if you have a husband, a boyfriend, a brother, a friend, a son that likes that kind of stuff, follow him. He has his whole setup in the in the basement with his like 12 TVs and a camera and a microphone and like backdrop and all this crazy stuff that I don't understand and I only see once in a while when I go down there to do laundry. So whatever, follow him, follow me. Um, next time maybe I will talk a little bit more about my family and my daughter and my dog and maybe do a cake. I have a cake coming up that I have to make for a birthday party, so that could be fun. Maybe I'll do a video on the cake, and thank you all for watching this whole thing. It's probably pretty long, probably pretty winded, but I do like talking, so thanks for listening. Um, if this does end up being a thing, follow me, I guess. Subscribe. I don't know what you do. Um, this is all so new, but hopefully I'll be back with another video, and hopefully I'll actually have somebody like this one. Even if it's just one person, that's still a big deal to me. Because currently, I don't have anyone, obviously. Because this is the first video I've done. So, I think that's it. So, thank you for watching this first 24-minute video. Holy crap, I'll probably be editing it if I can figure that out. And maybe I'll see you next time. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.